Hi, I'm Sean Reardon, Mayor of Newport, and welcome to the latest edition of the Mayor's Corner. It's another beautiful day here in the city, and I can't wait to tell you all that's going on. First and foremost, I survived the polar plunge after weeks and weeks. Uh, we finally did it on Monday. We jumped into the Atlantic up at Plum Island. We had a great crowd turnout. We got a lot of footage. You might have seen the paper today, but we've had videos, pushed it on newreport.com. Uh, Representative uh, Jim Kilcourse ended up joining us. Uh, it was really just a great day, but it was cold. You're crazy! Your dedication to this is as strong as your dedication to the city. Thank you. Nate and Mayor Reardon, good luck today. We're, we're rooting you on and we're really glad we're not in your shoes. <laughs> hey everybody, my name is Rob White, I'm the Director of Operations for Atlantic Ambulance Service. We're out here on Plum Island today to witness four crazy individuals jump into an ocean. It's crazy. Don't do this at home. We have ambulances standing by with warm blankets, warm fluids, uh, just to make sure that everybody's going to be okay. $5,026. Thank you all for being here. Um, you guys want to say something or just jump in? Oh, no, we're just no. we're so happy to be here and be a part of this, this event. Uh, thank you for Representative Kelcourse for coming out. Anything for a great cause. I'm glad we got to 5000 know, Hopefully we'll make this a yearly event with other leaders stepping up and joining us. Next time I'm writing a check. <laughs> 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 Alright, just right. 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 You just everybody! Oh. 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 Sean, how does it feel? It's cold. <laughs> Pretty cold. <laughs> and we're hoping to make this uh, an annual event. I can honestly tell you that I've already started training for next year. Um, I will be in better shape and I will take better care of my feet and I will be ready for that polar plunge. But it was a lot of fun. Hats off to the chamber and uh, their president, Nate Allard, who came up with this idea. So I look forward to, to helping out the chamber in, in many ways throughout the year and, and for next year's polar plunge. So thank you for that. Uh, I was able to attend a uh, Ukraine uh, peace vigil that happened at the Unitarian Church on Pleasant Street. Uh, it was a really nice event on Sunday. There was uh, around 100 people there, I would say, residents from the report. Uh, Reverend Rebecca Bryan spoke, and then we also had some members of the Human Rights Commission speak, uh, one of them being my mother-in-law, Sheila Treef. But honestly, it was just really nice to get together. I think anytime you're watching events like this happen, you know, in our world uh, and, and the way that it unfolds on TV for everyone to see. It's just nice to get together and feel like you're a part of something, uh, you know, bigger. I mean, it was just a nice show of support uh, for, for, for uh, Ukraine uh, people. Uh, you know, I've had a lot of people reach out to, to City Hall this week just asking for different ways that they can help and how to get involved. So uh, that was really nice to see. So stay tuned for other efforts here in your report to see how we can support the efforts going on across country. But well, talk about an inspiring thing to, to witness uh, a country really literally defending themselves uh, on TV for the world to see uh, and all in kind of the, the name of democracy and freedom, which is pretty great. Uh, back to some city news. Uh, so uh, Wednesday night, we're going to finally have our uh, finalists get interviewed for the health director position. Uh, we have three great can uh, great candidates. Uh, the interviews were supposed to take place last Friday. We had to cancel them for the storm and a few other reasons. So Wednesday night. So the next by the time we talk next week, hopefully we'll have a brand new health director for the city of New Report. So I'm excited about that. Uh, we also have the IT director position uh, posted right now, and we have had a huge response, which is really great. Uh, because again, hiring all over municipalities is, is difficult right now. But we had a, a great response. A lot of qualified individuals uh, decided to apply. We had over 75 applicants. So we're just starting that screening process now, but I'm excited to get that underway and hopefully get that position filled uh, really soon. 
the Council of Aging has a lot of great things going on. I want to give a shout out to Paula Burke, uh, my department head for the Council of Aging. Uh, the Senior Center is, is back open and uh, with uh, new guidelines and uh, it's been really positive so far. They're bringing back a lot of their programming. Uh, one of the events that they're doing or one of the, the services that they're providing is that they've scheduled over 200 AARP uh, tax appointments. So really helping seniors with their taxes. Uh, they do this every year, but it's nice to see so many uh, have been able to make appointments and get in there and get the help that they need. Uh, New Report Youth Services, registration for the spring and summer catalog has been put together. It is going to be on March uh, 15th, so that catalog I believe is live now that you can access it. I know this is a very tense day for families in New Report where they try to book as many things as they, as they can for the summer. I know it's always a tense day in my house and you know somehow my wife always gets through and, and, and uh, you know gets through it. So again, you know, plan ahead. It's gonna be the 15th. They're gonna do it a different time to be a little bit more equitable for everybody. I think it's gonna take place in the evening uh, this year and we're just gonna have it staffed and it's gonna be a great day and we're gonna get uh, you know, all your children lined up for their activities for the spring and summer. So uh, stay tuned for that. I'm still on track to release my five-year, $10 million streets and sidewalk plan on the March 14th uh, City Council meeting. So again, the plan is, is that we're going to release the plan as a communication to the City Council. They will send it to the uh, Neighborhood and C uh, City Services uh, Subcommittee, uh, chaired by Ward 4 Councilor Christine Wallace. And that's where that uh, presentation will take place. So stay tuned for that date, but then we'll, we'll really get to show you, you know, what this five year plan looks like. You know, you'll get to see uh, soon enough where your street falls on the plan uh, and how, you know, the process that we're gonna really put in place. So uh, each year that there's a real, um, that there's a sturdy process and a, and a, a plan that we'll go through uh, to make sure that we're covering all our bases, doing all the planning, doing all the designing, keeping residents informed. Uh, there's just so many things I want to do with this plan. So uh, I'm looking forward to that day when we can uh, talk about it a little bit more with the rest of the community. Uh, I had my second department head meeting today. It was really a great uh, morning. We talked a lot about, about what's going on in the city. We talked about a lot what's coming down the road. Uh, you know, we're in the midst of, of budget season. So we talked about what that's going to look like for the next couple of weeks uh, with department heads. And, and we'll be meeting with each of them to talk about their budgets for the upcoming year. We talked about grants. This is a huge grant uh, time of year where, where many grants are, are, are available and, and they have to be completed uh, sometime during the spring. So we kind of talked about that process and how we're going to track those throughout the city. Uh, and then we also talked about this website over, overhaul that we're, we're, we're planning on doing. So and we had a little bit, uh, a smaller group uh, stick around after the meeting and talk about websites a little bit. So a lot of great things going on. And I think these department head meetings have been a really great way for all of us to get together. One, because that doesn't always happen, but it's a great way for uh, departments to collaborate with each other and talk about uh, issues that, that, that could be shared in ways that we can, we can uh, deal with them together here in the city. So I really enjoyed that as well. Uh, and finally, I think one of the things I wanted to end with this week or start with, I guess, is uh, it's state tournament time. It's March Madness. It's official. And I'm a huge basketball fan, if you don't know. Uh, I grew up, my dad was the basketball coach here in New Report for the girls team for a very long time. Uh, I coached with him for a little bit. I played basketball up at, up at New Report High School. And, and so basketball is clearly my favorite sport. So I love March Madness. Uh, I went on to go to school at Ohio State and I love rooting for my Buckeyes during March Madness. But it's also high school state tournament time too. So the state tournament started this week. Uh, congrats to the boys basketball team who beat Marblehead last night. They will play next uh, at Lemonster on Friday night at 6.30. So I wish them luck in, in their next round of the tournament. Uh, the girls basketball team are playing at home this Friday at 7 p.m. against Shepherd Hill. I did not know where Shepherd Hill was, but it's part of the Dudley Char Charlton School District, so more like Central Mass. Um, so they'll be coming to New Report uh, 7 o'clock on Friday. The boys hockey team will be playing Wilmington Friday night, 5 p.m. at the Graf uh, rink. So there could be a good double header for the Reardon family. We could be doing the hockey game first and then we'll head to the girls basketball game after that. And then also the girls hockey team uh, qualified for the tournament. They're gonna be playing Acton Broxborough and they're playing Saturday and that game is at Boxborough. I think it's Neshoba Olympia uh, rink in Boxborough. So good luck to them. Uh, I wanted to say congrats to the swim co-op team in Triton. Uh, they uh, had a great tourney. Uh, they finished 11th out of over 40 teams uh, and they set many school records also this year. So a con big congrats to them. And lastly this week, I wanted to send a big get well soon to my very first appointment here in the mayor's office and a good friend of mine, uh, Caroline Wheatman. 
Uh, she had a big surgery this week. Uh, she made it uh, through and she's now uh, kind of on the road to recovery and I just wanted to wish her uh, a very hearty get well soon. We're all thinking of you. Uh, I know all your teammates and classmates and friends uh, are, are looking out for you and, and just hope that uh, you're back on your feet soon. And I hope I get to come uh, visit you soon because I'd love to see how you're doing. But uh, you're in my thoughts this week, Caroline. And uh, again, I'm glad everything went well. And uh, you know, best wishes to your family as well as they uh, get you back on your feet. Uh, and that's our Mayor's Corners this week. Again, we had a lot going on. I think I covered a lot. Um, again, oh, you know what? A sneak peek for next week that we're gonna talk about a little bit more. I think it's finally time, and we, I think we finally worked it out here at City Hall that, you know, during the campaign, I talked about open office hours a lot, and that's one of the things I wanted to bring back. And I, I, I really do feel like I've had an open door policy uh, since I've started here, but we'd like to really get some set times in where you can come in and have your two minutes with the mayor. So uh, we're tentatively thinking it's going to be maybe the last Thursday and Friday of each month. We'll have a couple hours in the evening because we are open here till 7 p.m on Thursday nights and then maybe a couple hours on Friday. But I will definitely get back to with you with, with confirmation on that. But I think it's just a great way to, to have my office be accessible to, to the residents and you can come in, have your two minutes. You can tell me what you love. You can tell me what you're having trouble with and what challenges you're having and we can, we can talk about how, how we can fix it. Uh, so again, it's just another way that the mayor uh, can help you in uh, your everyday life uh, here in your report. So that's our Mayor's Corner. I hope everyone has a great weekend and it has a great rest of the week. And just remember, if you're ever stuck in the corner, the Mayor's got your back. Take care.